Pro Cam here. I'm gonna show you how to take two bow fangs and make a repeater. So basically all you're gonna do is you're gonna take a, uh, if you have a three and a half millimeter uh, TRS jack to two and a half millimeter TRS jack, you're gonna take that and plug them into each radio. So if you look at this, uh, the cover, it says SP for speaker and mic for microphone. Uh, so the two and a half millimeter is the speaker and the three and a half millimeter is the microphone. So what I had to do is uh, I actually had some of these little adapters and I uh, just, tried plugging those into the end here and I don't know if this is some kind of weird like crossover or mono or something like that but it didn't work when I just plugged it in like that I had to actually take the other end uh, of my three and a half millimeter and I made this uh, kind of monstrosity of adapters so we've got three and a half millimeter a quarter and we've got down to a mono three and a half millimeter into another qu uh, quarter into a three and a half millimeter. I suspect what was going on here is that this was uh, is making a mono jack and it was treating because uh, what was happening is, is as soon as I would plug it into the transmit radio, it would key up. Transmit radio is really easy to set up. All we're going to do is set the channel to the channel we want our repeater to be. So for me, I chose uh, 146.730. And how I picked that was I looked at the, the band plan and I also sat there and I listened to both of these frequencies for a while, a few hours. And uh, I heard no traffic on them. So I was like, okay, this will be fine just for my testing. So 146.730 and then uh, I set the Vox to two, so I'm going to wait to do that until I plug the radio in. That way it's not going off as I'm speaking. So for the receive radio, we're going to set it to what we want our input to be. Now around where I'm at, it's generally a, a 0.6 offset plus or minus. I went with a minus 0.6 offset, so I'm at 146.130. And uh, you could just plug these together and have it set up and just be an open repeater. But what uh, I actually did is I put a tone on there just to, just to see if I could see how well it would work. So if we go to menu and we go to uh, option 11, we have receive CTCS, RCTCS. I just chose 71.9. So now when I plug these together, I remember this is my, uh, receive radio and the reason I chose this one as my receive radio is that for some reason it doesn't key up so it works as a receiver so I'm going to just use it as a receiver we want to plug into the speaker of this one because this is the input so or the speaker port on that one then we're going to plug into the um, microphone port of the other one with this giant contraption we made so now that we're plugged in Let's go ahead and turn Vox on. Because if you see right now, so I have my um, radio here set up with uh, these settings. So 146.730 is my uh, input. Or I'm sorry, that's my repeater frequency. And then transmit tone is 71.9 7, hertz. My offset is 0. 0.6 and the direction is minus. So now to turn this on. Come on. That's way too bright for the camera. There we go. I'm on 146.730 with all my settings put in. And when I transmit, you'll see that this radio lights up, but this does not turn red. So. Kilo 8 Alfa Romeo Hotel, radio test, radio test. Now what we do is we go to, on our transmit radio, we have to turn Vox on. So I like about two. And then what we do is we have to make sure our volume is about 
uh make it play with it too so now when i key up kilo 8 alpha Romeo hotel radio test oh i didn't save it <laughs> you gotta hit menu to save it so now vox is on and uh So Vox 2 might be 2. Vox 2 might be too low. Let's go to like 4. Okay. Alright, so now I want to key up. Kilo 8 Alpha. Kilo 8 Alpha Romeo Hotel. Why are you not working? I need to turn you up more. Kilo 8 Alpha Romeo Hotel, radio test, radio test. So there we can see it actually lit up that time uh, when I was transmitting. So now we have ourselves a little repeater and I get both these on low power just because we're sitting here um, within like a foot of each other. Open the air spy and see uh, if we can actually see these two signals. So you can see around here where my mouse is on the left. When I key up, that's where you're gonna see a big spike. You're not gonna really see anything to where we're actually listening to until I start talking. So I'm gonna mute this mic and we're gonna listen to just the uh, desktop audio. So again, 146.130-ish, right around here. That's where you're gonna see that big spike of me talking. And then we're gonna be listening to the uh, repeater audio coming through the Baofeng. So I'm gonna mute this, mute this mic. And now you'll see, uh, I'm just going to hold the mic, the PTT, and I'm not going to say anything for a second. And uh, you'll see that the uh, spike where my mouse is is just kind of sticking up. Eight Alpha Roadman Hotel, radio test. So, uh, as you can see there, it's a little crackly. It's not the best audio, but this is a, um, well, let's see, uh, $18 times two, so $36. And then uh, a three and a half millimeter cable that I just found in a bin over there, which is what made me make this video. And uh, some spare ends I had. So for under 50 bucks, this is a, a pretty slick little uh, repeater. You know, I, I don't think I would use this setup as a permanent install, but if it was something you needed to toss up on like a special event or you guys are out somewhere in uh at a park or something like toss this up in a tree you could probably get a bit better range and even better if you take a a cheap harbor freight uh kind of uh, ammo box or toolbox or something water one of the waterproof ones you could probably put a couple holes in it and get some uh the antennas to stick out and then you have your nice self-enclosed little little unit there so i'll put links to this this stuff in the description and uh you can like i said under 50 bucks you get yourself your own repeater with just a, a, a tiny bit of work uh so that's all i got for today this is the bro cam saying 73